I don't mind working. I really don't mind working. I just wish the stuff that I wanted to do made more money. Not just this YouTube shit, but I wish even my nine to five. I told you guys how I kind of want to be in HR. I know that sounds silly, but I wish just being in HR could make me six figures. I'm not going to lie. So I could just do it and nobody would have questioned what the fuck I do. It's the money. It's always the fucking money. I'm still young, but it's like I, I don't have time to really pick what I want to do because people are going to look at me and see how much money I make. They're going to make, oh, you make $47,000 a year? You're broke. They'd be like, yeah, I'm broke right now, but I'm, I'm just getting into the profession. I'm just getting in. And I think that's what keeps a lot of people from doing what they want to do in life. The money. And here, I'm not here to say that if you like flipping burgers at your fast food joint. I just wish money wasn't such a fucking hard thing to do. Because what if you do like flipping burgers? What if you just want to work at a, you just want to work at a restaurant? You can't just be somebody who works at a restaurant. Nope. Now, today, it's a little bit different than back in the day, but now if you work at a restaurant, you got to TikTok it. If you want to if you want to flip burgers, now you got to TikTok it. You got to make a YouTube channel. You got to show people how to make burgers. You can't just enjoy flipping fucking burgers. You can't enjoy just working at a restaurant you like. Yeah, there's good and bad times, but there's people who really want to do that. They just want to work at a restaurant, flip burgers every day, and come home. And they enjoy that shit. They love seeing the customers try the burgers and be like, man, they really like that burger. But you can't just be that anymore. Nope. You got to flip burgers. You got to be a chef. You got to be a five-star chef to be a, a burger flipper. I hate, I hate, I hate it. Like I said, I'm a man who is very much get your money. Make as much as you can. But it sucks because no matter how much you love what you do, you still may be broke because you have to go to the the upteenth version of it because there's people who want to be like hey i want to flip burgers but i want to spend a lot of my time with the people in the community i want to be at the shelters i want to be giving my time to that it's like you can't do that shit you can't you can't flip burgers and want to go help people at the shelter and that gives you joy no nope. you got to be rich because if you don't when you turn 60 or 70 and something goes wrong you're broke you're broke forever. You can end up at a fucking nursing home where your body is slowly going to break down and you're going to die. It's not going to be pretty. You're going to be shitting yourself, pissing yourself. You're just going to die. You're going to be in a bunch of pain all the way out. And the thing that sucks is you're not going to have the money to fucking afford to be where you're at. So your family's got to deal with all your debt when you die. And I just don't know the fucking answer outside of that. I can't tell people to do what they love unless it makes them rich. That's all you can do. If it don't make you rich, don't fucking do it. That's all I can tell people. I feel the same fucking way. It's like, I can't do what I want to do. I can't make 15 bucks an hour. I'm going to be broke. Even if you live within your means. Even if you make $15 an hour, you and your spouse, you make 15 bucks an hour. Not enough. 20 bucks an hour. Not enough. 30 bucks an hour. Still not enough. 50, 60 dollars an hour. Now you're talking. You know how hard it is to get a job for 50 dollars an hour? 60 dollars an hour, those are salary jobs. And those are normally high degree, high going student loans, go and get student loans. And to get those kind of jobs, you kind of have to already have made that plan up to that point. Because to make 50 bucks, 50 dollars an hour, 60 dollars an hour, if you didn't have it figured out by 30. Now you're 30 years old. Now you got to go to school for eight more years. Now you're 40 finally making that money after you've been broke for 15 years because you were flipping burgers because you thought you liked it. I hate this shit, man. I hate it. And I hate my fucking self because I can't figure this shit out. Like the shit I want to do is going to take me 10, 15 years to make good money. And it's, it's hard to look your family in the eye or look your family, your family in the eye, look your spouse in the eye, or your kids in the eye and say, well, dad, wanted to do this and now I'm a nurse and now I'm fucking depressed every day because yeah I'm making money but I don't like what I do but if I want to go over there and work in that department over there I'll be broke I hate this shit 
That's what I said. I don't tell people my plans because I, I know my in my fucking head, I'm going to be broke. I told you guys when I was growing up, I wanted to, I wanted to be, I wanted to preach. Because I like this live kind of stuff. I, it was, I didn't know what it was at, at the time, but I always wanted to publicly speak. If I wasn't a pastor, I wanted to publicly speak, but my life fucking sucks and I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> you know, I thought I'd be so much further at this point. I, I did. I thought I, I thought I'd be a public speaker. I still think about that. I, I've thought about being on stage for so long, but I got nothing to talk about. All I'm going to do is get up there and be like, "Hey guys, I'm broke. Good luck." <sighs> public speaking is not something you can just do. You need to have some life experience, which I don't mind waiting for. But what do I do till then? This, that's why this fucking live stream and stuff is my only album. It's the closest thing I can get to talking on stage. And a lot of times I'm talking to an empty fucking room. And if I do want to work a 9 to 5, because I know everybody kills me for it. Everybody kills you when you're a content creator. Work your 9 to 5. You need to get a fucking job. Get a job. Get a job. It's like I do. I don't mind working. I don't mind getting a job. But the only problem is whatever job I work, I'm going to be broke still. I can't even try to get into one something I want to do. Because the money. Always about the fucking money. Sick of this shit. I'm just, I'm just kind of giving my thoughts. About the money. <sighs> I do wonder sometimes. I'll be real with you. I think this is the reason some people just want to. Just quit. I, I understand the younger generation being like quiet quitting. Well, like, what do you have? What do you like? It's not just about what looking forward to the economic situation in your life. It's about if you've seen what I've seen. If you work with the population I've worked with, it's like, what does it all matter in the end? You still die horrible. If you make it to an old age, it ain't pretty. It ain't like, yay, I made it here. There's like no good way to go about it, and it's like. I mean, even if you did what you love, you didn't make enough to do it. Doesn't that just sound horrible? I can see how Gen Z is like, man, fuck it. I'm going to go what, work a job for, I got to go work one job. And if I don't like it, I'm fucked. I got to start back from point zero at 30 years old, 40 years old, and then do it again. And now I probably got kids and shit. Now I really got to just do what I don't like. It's like, is life just suffering? Like, is there any, is there any reason for me to even pursue not necessarily happiness all the time but is my life just a sacrifice if that's what it is cool that's what it is but it's like what do I teach my kids hey your life is just a sacrifice don't try to be happy don't even try to pursue what you want just fucking sacrifice everything sacrifice your time if you don't have if you don't make the right decision you're fucked if you don't make the right decision within a certain time frame you're done Give up. Your life's going to suck the rest of your life. If you don't have this much money by this age, hey, it's going to suck. Just suffer and keep suffering. And the thing about it is, I can understand the people who are religious and like, yeah, life is suffering. You sacrifice and don't worry. At the end of it all, you, you'll go to heaven. I get it. I get it. But it's like, so you're trying to tell me that I, I'm born just to not even... Like what do I, like what do I tell people then? I tell people, hey, you're really born for no reason. If you're not rich, if you're if you're doomed to be just barely making it, or you're just a little bit above making it, maybe a little bit above average, but you still can't do quite anything. You make just enough to where you can actually pay for everything, right? That's it. Life stops right there. For the rest of your life, you're just a sacrifice. And if you make it to heaven, awesome. It's like, well, it's, unfortunately, I don't live, a, we live in a capitalist world and I can't just be a sacrifice. My bills don't stop for that. You know what I mean? Like I said, when you get old, it's like, okay, so I did all this just to end up in debt and now I'm dying a horrible death. I'm just falling, I'm now just degrading. That's what it was all for. 
And it's like, yeah, no, man, it was for the memories. It was for the your 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 kids got to see you smile. They're never gonna see me smile. What are you talking about? Smile about what? My whole life is just making it to heaven. I don't even know how to do that right. Like, what makes me get to heaven outside of just being a good person? Like, how can I be a good person? You know, these are the questions I think about. It's just, I'm not saying, I don't say I'm not, I don't believe in these things. I'm just simply saying, like, I can understand why some people in the younger generation quiet quits. I can understand why they're like, man, dude, I just, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck ever I want to do. If I'm broke, I'm broke. But I'd rather be broke trying something I want to do than be broke doing what I don't want to do only for me to just now be depressed and have money but I got money and I'm so depressed that I end up self-deleting myself I get to 45 and I'm like man I'm so glad I made six figures for so long but I hate the job I do and now I just I don't even want to do this for 20 more years I've been doing it for 20 I don't want to do it for 20 more years but the money's good you know Sometimes you just feel hopeless. And that's just how it is. I don't know if you ever... I don't know all the answers. Like I said, this is how I'm feeling right now. There's other times in my life, I, I can see it more clearly. But today, I, I can't. I can't see a situation where I'll be happy. And this is kind of... Maybe maybe I'll, be, I'll feel better around friends and family if I do more talking. But right now, I'm lost of what I want to do in my life. I'm in a fucking med I'm in the medical field. I'm doing exactly what I'm told that's gonna make me so happy. Cause the money will be so good. Don't you worry, Trey, the money will be so good. It's like, yeah, but I don't want to go to work. I I'm working because it's I have to work. And I'm not work it's not like I don't want to go to work because I don't want to work. I don't want to go to work because of what I do. I don't want to be around certain people no more. I don't want to take care of anybody. I don't, I don't want to take care of nobody. I don't. I know that sounds so selfish, but like I said, you do get compassion fatigue. And I just need a break from it. I ain't got it in me right now. I want to give it to the people who can still do it with their heart. I can't. I don't know if I want to do this the rest of my life in this capacity. I want to help people in another way. I've done this long enough. But I feel horrible for saying that. It's like, am I a horrible person? For not wanting to help people in that capacity? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't really know. That's all. <sighs> I'm gone.